There's Dad spraying the grass again. Ugh. Hey guys, I wanted to talk to you today about how fast products like this work. All of these things, they basically are supposed to de-thatch your lawn without having to pull a big old piece of machinery over it and rip everything up. Three weeks ago, I started an experiment where I started putting this product down on one part of my yard, this product down on another part of my yard, and this product down on a third part of my yard because all parts of my yard have a pretty bad thatch problem, at least in certain areas. Right here, not so much. This is pretty nice. Grass is thick, it grows well, it's pretty healthy, but if we go eight feet that way, it gets a little bit thatchy. The grass doesn't grow vigorously. Uh, there's a good squishy layer underneath, and it's like that throughout the yard. A lot of that is the result of a ah, poor watering practices uh, after a sod installation almost three years ago. It's, it's normal, it's common, but the, the main problems are in the full sun areas. Basically that sod just, I don't know, it just didn't take in those areas because the watering just didn't work out well. So instead of ripping everything up, I figured I would try three different products on three different areas of the lawn just to see um, if they work um, and how fast they worked and how well they worked and which one works best. So make sure to hit the archives um, and take a look at those first videos to see what I did, the application process. But today, it's been almost three weeks. It's been 19 days exactly since I put these products down. And I wanted to, to answer the question, how fast do liquid dethatching products work? They don't take three weeks and they don't take one application, that's for sure. I could take you around to various parts of the yard 19 days after each one of these were put down and all of them still have thatch. They all still have thatch. Now I expected that because the areas that I'm really trying to get rid of or improve were pretty bad. And honestly, if you look at the label on each one of these, this says for heavy thatch conditions use three ounces per thousand square feet every three weeks. Now. This can also be used on a compost pile. One cup mixed with one to two gallons of water, put it in your compost pile. The whole point of that is, that is the perfect illustration. It is compost. This makes things compost. When you start a compost pile, it takes a long time or it takes something to start the process. And once this process starts, if your pile is working efficiently, it will compost down, but nothing composts down in three weeks. What this is basically doing is it's trying to compost the thatch layer that's in between the grass blades and the soil level. It's trying to compost that down and break it down as quickly as possible. You just can't do it in three weeks. Now you can get the process started. Now that's what this says. What does this say? This from uh, Yard Mastery, uh, from the uh, Green County Fertilizer Company, the next dethatch product. Uh, this says, apply at a rate of uh, six to a thousand square feet or nine to a thousand square feet. Do, 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 do. Product can be applied as often as every three weeks, depending on the thatch layer thickness. A lot of words in this lab, it's hard to find things. Um, so depending on the thatch layer thickness, you can go once every three weeks with this. It doesn't just say put it down once, it puts it down every three weeks. What's this one say? This one's from Lawnstar. This says, note, it may take two or three applications before results become pronounced, depending on the condition of your soil when starting. So they're saying wait two to three applications before you even start noticing the difference. Application during the afternoon should be avoided. Application should be repeated every two to four weeks, depending on thatch layer thickness for best results during the spring and the summer. So basically these guys are saying between every two and four weeks, 
like these guys every three, these guys every three, and every single one of them says that you should do it multiple times. Uh, you're not going to see results for at least two to three applications. So how fast do they work? I would, I would venture to say if you're going to buy any one of these products or any other brand's liquid dethatching product, expect to put the product down every three weeks or so for a few months. Honestly, for a whole season, just choose a season. If this is the season, you just got to just jump into the deep end and plan to do it all season long. Uh, if you've got a very uh, light layer, I don't know, maybe you'll notice a difference faster. Maybe you won't have to apply it every three weeks. Uh, but if it's a really light thatch problem, you might not even ever notice. It might just be a maintenance kind of a thing. Uh, for poor uh, or really bad thatch problems, I hope that I'm going to notice a difference after three, four applications. So uh, we'll find out. Um, today is Monday. It's been 19 days since I put these down. Wednesday, August 5th, will be 21 days. I'm actually going to go ahead and put these products down tomorrow. So I'm going to put them at, down at day 20, mostly because of the weather. The weather report for Wednesday and Thursday doesn't look ideal uh, for these products. So I'm going to go ahead and put them down tomorrow at day 20. Um, that will be my second application. At this point in time, no parts of my yard do I feel like it's any different. Like it doesn't feel substantially different anywhere. Um, I have been keeping up on the mowing and the watering, so nothing is getting worse. Uh, but I got to believe that underneath everything, the composting process of breaking down that thatch has begun. At some point, you just got to trust. Uh, so, so that's what I got to say about that. Don't expect this to be a one application and the problem's fixed. You got to get on this every three weeks, routinely, all spring, summer, and into the early fall, so long as those temperatures are hot. If you've got a hot late spring, start then. It's hot all summer, do it all summer. If it stays hot into the fall, the early fall, keep it up. No matter what, after all, you buy the product, you might as well use it. Um, these two products are obviously physically smaller than this. But this is watered down more. 88% of this is water. Uh, it says so right there. Inactive ingredients. 88% water. Uh, these products are far more concentrated. So both of the, or all three of these are kind of going to cover the same rough square footage. Um, I'll put some links below uh, or, I don't know, maybe a link to my website. You can kind of see a, a little bit more information on all three of them. I Currently, I don't recommend any of them. Um, because I haven't decided which one I like the best. Um, but you can go and take, go ahead and take a look at them. Take a look at some of the pricing if that's, like if you're actually in a shopping mode. Um, but man, hit subscribe. Uh, I'm going to be doing updates to this whole thatch renovation or this thatch repair process along with so many other things. Uh, hit up the archives to see some of the earlier videos on my thatch uh, project. And I will see you in the next video. All right, so I didn't actually think I was going to record spraying the grass or, I don't know, the before or aftermath. But as I was spraying it, I just had to. This thing looks so good. Take a look at this. So for a property that's got a pretty good thatch problem in various areas, this is just looking spectacular. I don't normally bag my clippings, but before I went and sprayed everything down uh, today, I decided I would cut all of the grass down one level or one notch lower uh, just to keep, and then I, I would bag it too. That keeps uh, fresh clippings off the ground, and all of the spray that I put on the ground uh, can go to, go to work on the older material, the thatch layer that's underneath these blades. Uh, for one, cutting this one notch lower, it barely looks stressed at all. Like, I don't know, it's got fantastic color. Here in the middle, in the full sun area, this, this spot right here gets no shade at any point during the day. 
summer or winter. So uh, this is a, a rough patch right here. This is one of the patches that I'm following uh, in the test because it's just so squishy kind of right in this area here. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to put this on camera just because I'm impressed. Okay, enough gloating. I don't have the best lawn in the world. I got problems. Look at that right there. I got some heat and drought stress there. But, um, of course, I got thatch. Look at this. Here's my hole. This is the hole from my uh, thatch plug that I pulled out uh, about a month ago. Anyway, definitely got problems. My tree, this is the plum tree. It's starting to drop plums in the ground, so I got to clean that up. Cleaned it up this morning so I don't have rotting plums all on the ground. But, uh, but I'm really happy. Over here, this is where I used the Lawn Star a little bit earlier. It doesn't look quite as dark because everything over here is wet. This is the first patch that I re-sprayed. Uh, this is where I put next de-thatch product down from Green County Fertilizers. And of course, over here on the west side of the lawn, I put down uh, Nature's Biological Dethatcher or Digester. So, uh, Everything seems to be doing really well. I'll check back in with you in about three weeks on the thatch process.